Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As always, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. We're going to check out a game called Lens Island, which is a, you know, build, fight, farm, and explore type game. Think Stardew Valley with a little bit of, I don't know, Stardew Valley with exploration. I don't know how to explain it. You explore, you craft, you do things. It's single player, but it's going to be like a base building, open world farming sim. And I don't know, we're going to check it out and see if we uh, want to give it a look. It's part of the Steam's uh, next game festival and it's for games that are releasing all this year through 2021. So uh, let's get the home of our dreams and see what we can do. Alright, so let's see here. Let's let's wish you could zoom in and take a better look, but we can't. There you go. Oh big gym. Slate. He needs a manly haircut. He needs a manly... It kind of looks like Valheim a little bit, the way the, the graphics are. Let's start with this guy here. Plants can be quickly slashed down. All right, welcome to Lens Island Demo. Oh, cool. All right, so let's... Oop, oh, axe swing. Arrow keys. How do you move? The BSADs not work, I can jump at the mouse button. Arrow keys aren't working. Oh, I can do a barrel roll. Oh, okay, so you right click. There we go. That took me way longer than it should have. You right click to move around, and left click can be hit at the same time to chop. So let's chop the tree down. There we go. Mm, get it. Uh, get it. Uh, get it. Uh, get it. Taking too long. Let me get one of your smaller, weaker brethren. This guy, and this guy. Six. Get it. Six. Get it. Get it, come on, chop it, chop it. There you go. You see, this is what you're supposed to do over here. This is what you're supposed to do, buddy. Oh, can I Can I get him? Why am I missing him? There you go, see, there you go. You saw what you're supposed to do and you got scared. All right, so go ahead and mouse over to pick everything up. Oh, there's people here. Hope you didn't see, oh, can I get this? What is this? Is that something I can pick up or something? No, I can't. All right, wait, let's see what setting. Oh, there's a screenshot mode. Okay, cool. So it's got a screenshot mode, so if you find something cool, you can just go through and grab what you want. That's nice. And let's take a look at the settings. We have show FPS, and uh, 40 frames a second is a bit much. Do V-Sync, and now FPS should be right around 60. There we go. All right, full screen. Res oh, wait, oh, why am I on medium? I want high. Can you, does it see? Very low. Okay, so you can see real time, which is very low, actually. It looks kind of cool. But I'm going to do a high because I got that kind of computer and then volume and that's it. So there's not a whole lot of options as of yet. Maybe more will come in later. But let's look around. Is there a map? Press M, tab. All right, so tab brings up all your crafting options. There's no I for inventory. Q does a barrel roll. It's a combat roll, but I like to call it a barrel roll. And there's a chest over here. What is this? Oh, there we go, kid. I wish you could just hold the axe down. Right you have to click it individually, and I, I get it, but that might be something you might want to consider adding in the future so you don't have to just... Oh, there's more stuff. Can I swim? Can I swim? Ooh. Right, can I hit it? Can I hit this stuff? Oh, there's little bouncy bounces. Nice. All right, let's see. Can my guy swim? Oh, my guy can swim, too. Nice. I like the... Okay, scrolling gets you selecting between two different weapons. I've got it. That actually tells you all this in the left hand corner. Tab is for your inventory. Q is to combat roll weapons. Okay, I get it. I get it. Old Rad's not paying Oh, wait a minute. I have a pickaxe. Old Rad's not paying attention. I wish you could just hold it down, though. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Am I picking up stuff as we go? I have to wait for it to break completely. Let's see. What am I getting? Am I getting anything out of this? I'm not. Is this clay? I'm assuming this is clay. There we go. Okay, so no. So you got to break the whole thing up to get it. Oh, look. Oh, look. A temple or a dungeon. A f dark and foreboding place with fire in the way. I want to run into it because I do not care about my own safety. The ancient caves. Okay, cool. So it's going to be like an, uh, sort of like an action RPG. 
uh, thing. Can you mine inside? Oh, you can mine inside here too. So maybe this will be where I don't have a torch. I need a torch. All right, let's leave. Let's go talk to those other humans, the business people, the people who are going to probably sell me something because I don't see why they would just sit there on the, on the dock hanging out. Or the starting area for no reason. Info! Ha ha ha! Alright, come up. And how do I talk to people? Can I talk to them without... Okay, so you click on the item you want. Uh, I need to craft. I need fibers and coal. Okay, good thing I didn't actually kill him. So I need fibers and coal. So there's no way to talk to them. They should probably put it where you get close. You hit space bar. Oh, look, I can jump instead of, hitting, instead of talking. Man. So where do I get fibers from? Well, fibers come from these things. I'm willing to bet this is where fiber comes from. So let's click it a few times. Let's click it until it gives me something I want back. There you go. There you go. It's fiber. Let's see if I can get more fiber. I'm going to click it a few more times so it gives me something back. This is right here is what mobile games are all about. It does kind of feel like sort of a mobile game that they made bigger. I haven't done a dungeon yet. So let's see. So I need, oh, I need way more fibers. Ten fibers, five coal. What do I get coal for? What is a sword with? No, I could put food in there. Okay, I still feel like... Can I get on this boat? Oh, cool. You can... Okay, so there's a trade system here. It's single player, though, so I don't imagine... Fiber... Can I buy fiber in it? Well, there's food I can get. I keep gonna keep swinging my axe at everything. No, I don't want that. Alright. I need fiber. I need 10 fiber, 5 coal. What do I get coal from? So let's take a look. Let's go. I know where we get wood from. Well, let's see if I can get 10 fiber. Right, so I got those 3 fiber. Let's see what this is. That was, I don't know, metal, metal parts. Maybe you could find coal, like, like, in these chests. Initially, it doesn't look like the weapons actually degrade over time. Can you get coal from these rocks? You can't really tell what these are, too. I wish they could mouse over. Hold on, let's wait. Yeah, you should be able to mouse over and see what they are, just in case you're not eagle-eyed like me. I'm sure it probably makes sense that it's just stone, but, you know, just in case. I like how the grass is just sort of waving in the air. All right, let's see. I have enough of that. Coal. Mined from stones and found within caves and used the fuel. So, all right, so I need to get coal from... Wait, it's mined from stone. So I can get it from here. And again, being able to hold it down instead of clicking would be way better. I think that's something they need to fix in this game. Now let's see if it gives me any coal. Click, click, click. Yeah, if I could just hold this down, that would be so much easier. Throw on some chill music. Alright, so I don't... Didn't get any coal out of that one. Let's see if I get some of this one. Hey, let's take a lot. Alright, so, okay, there's no coal out of there either. So let's go inside the cave, stick close to the entrance, see if we can get some coal, and then run out, make a torch. Alright, so let's, let's, actually, you see those little, little, I think that's where the coal is. I wish you could scroll, scroll mouse, you know, middle wheel scroll in to actually see what it is. Or at least do it when you can hold down space bar and it, just, it does all this for you. you know, why you gotta go so hard at it? Yep, so I got coal. Look at that. Alright, so I got 10 pieces of coal. And I think... Because that one won't give me coal. Oh! Okay. Alright, good, good thing. Good thing, uh... It let me just walk right off the cliff. 
So let's go. Do I still have all my inventory? Yes. All right. Let's go see if I can get a torch. If I have enough to build a torch. That was not happy. That actually scared me. So, but I like the I like the graphics. It's nice. It's kind of relaxing looking. Dude, just fall off of that scared me just now. Hope my guy can't really. Hope my boy really can't drown. All right. So let's craft. All right. So I have a torch. And drag icon to equip. Boom, got it. Yeah, so I'm wait. Do I need a weapon now? Do I need a weapon? I'm about to go in the dungeon. What do I have? Brutal blade. Alright, so I could buy that for 20. So can, do I have lightstone to sell? I don't have lightstone. What do I have to sell? Oh wait, wait. I know I have some of these. Okay, so sell for four. Uh, sell for that. So I wish there was an indicator right on the screen too to tell you how much silver you have or gold. All right, so I want that and it cost 20. So what did I just sell? I need stones. Yeah, let's let's get myself better equipped for the rigors of dungeon. It seems like I can get money for stone. And right now I have 13. I just need seven more. Come on, come on, come on. I hope they have something like where you can get a quality of the weapon you're using. And then they need to go ahead and break the animation. When the resource you're using is broken, they need to just figure out how to stop the animation there. Even if you clicked it again, it should be like an iframe. That resets the animation so you don't have to waste time doing that last swing. Which does feel like a mobile game though. Not in a bad way, just it, it seems like there's a lot of stuff in here to just make you spend time doing stuff. But I think the key the key portion of this should have been exploration. The crafting is always gonna be there. So why drag it out? That's just my little opinion. I played Shopkeeper, a Titan Shopkeeper, a Shop Titan, or whatever that game was. Um, mobile? Yeah, Shop Titans. And I love that game. I played that game for like a month straight. And all it was is clicking. Whoa, whoa, calm down, calm down. All it was is clicking and, oh, what is this? I want that. I want that. Can I? Can I? Alright, so let's, let's. I want you. Because you look weird. Okay, I don't know what that was. Actually, right, so let's go back and see if I have enough stone now to actually get the sword. Um, wait, I gotta sell. So let's sell. 60 for 9. Sell. Boom, come here. Buy. Oh, yeah. And then equip you in first slot. Then I hit escape by accident. Oh, hit escape again. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. what was that? Did you see that that pimp move? Oh, he gets a skill. He gets a skill because he actually equipped a weapon. Look at that. That's nice. All right, but I do want. I want my crafting tool back up there. So how do I get? How do I get? How do I get that back? Hmm, that's wood building, stone building, crafting. Hmm. There's got to be a way. There's no eye for inventory. Resources. Hmm. Alright, well, might want to fix that because if it can't be intuitive, I'm not going to figure it out. And it could be staring me in the face. Honestly, if it's staring me right in the face, I'm still not going to figure it out. It might be something you guys want to look into. All right, so let's let's see if I can. Can I jump off of this? And then I fell off the. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. All right, so let's get in here. Forward into the darkness of the ancient caves. There we go. Look at that. Nice. All right, so let's see. Can we find some enemies to kill? Sounds like a horrible enemy. 
boom, 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 boom. Yeah, look at that. That was pretty. I took that lot like a boss. Oh, whoa, whoa, easy, easy. So that's what I mean by cut the animations. Because I think I could fall off of that. My guy was still swinging like a crazy person. Alright, so what is this? Can I, interact? Can I interact with that? No, I cannot. I cannot. Let's keep running. Keep running, keep running, 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 running. Oh, this guy's like a ninja. Look at that. Alright, so what's over here? Okay, nothing's over here. Oh, oh, is there a door? Can I go? Uh, can I go in the door? Oh, look at this. What is this? I don't know what that is, but I want it. Oh, uh, gimme, gimme. Oh, nice. All right, so I like the little isometric view of it. They, they did the, you know, whenever you're obscured to unobscure you to, to make everything transparent. Capacity, that sort of metaphor. You did that pretty well. You know how many games I've seen mess this up where you run around a corner or something and 15 different... Get these books. Screw your books. Screw your fools. All right. So let's... I know at some point you're going to get a house in this game, because I saw it in a little veal trailer, and you can farm and do things like that. So, ooh, ooh, what is this? Can I click it? Oh, I can repair it. I need wood and fibers. That's kind of cool. So if I have enough resources, I come repair it and go further in the dungeon. So let's see what's down here. Ooh, ooh, look at that, a fire. Nice. That means someone else is down here, right? These fires don't just don't just stay lit for like all eternity. Cool, it turned midair. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, yep, no, I hate this game. I hate it. There's no reason for you to fall off the edge like that on everything. They, they can fix that easy. Come on, guys. If I'm fighting, I shouldn't have to worry about falling off the edge. Unless it's blatantly obvious to be able to kick people off the edge while I'm playing. Ooh. Oh, what is this nasty? What is this? Okay, I don't want to touch any of that. Let's look. What's over here? Okay, nothing. Let's get up here. Let's go here. It looks nasty. And nope. All kinds of nope. All kinds of nope, nope. Big nope monster, nope, nope. But I'm going to go out here and fight anyway, because you know what? That's how I roll. It looks like you could just stomp on it. Oh no, they're still fighting me. Alright, Nico, can I go around? Oh, oh. Okay, uh. Let's go. Can I fight all these guys? Is there a bridge down here? Oh, there's not a bridge down there. It's not a bridge. Alright, so what is. I understand where I'm supposed to go. I feel like I'm gonna go ahead and kill all these things because they look evil, right? Now that we got that a step, can I jump? Oh, I think I'm supposed to jump. So I do have a jump. Wow. Okay, like I said, answers could be staring me right in the face, but I'm not gonna. Ooh. Oh, you. F oh. Oh, so now we're Indiana Jones. Okay, so there's Indiana Jones type puzzles. Let me just, let me just clear these lower, lower levels out. I'm gonna die really soon here. So there's a certain amount of trial and error. You're not gonna Super Mario way through these jumps. Nope, not at all. All right, let's try one more time. Ooh, oh, come on! All right, one more time, one more time, one more time. I feel like the controller works way better. Oh, come on, guys, come on. Because the controls are not uh, what you think in this game. All right, so I died, and I'm back on the beach. All right, do I at least keep my resource? No, I do not. I start over from scratch. Okay, well, not from scratch. I do still have the torch. I just have no resources. So it might be a simple case of me getting my body back after I go back inside the cave. So let's try. Look at that. I love this night. Oh, look at that. I like how the water is in there. A the little light effect, the water and the air. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. 
So let's see if we can recover our gear. If we can recover our gear, then this game is worth it. If we can't recover our gear, this game is trash. Okay, so he's back. Oops. Oh, oh, can I, can I not? Oh. Okay, somehow. Okay, come on, guys. Come on. Come on. There we go. Somehow I forgot how to use my controller, or excuse me, keyboard and mouse in the two seconds it took to reload the game. What is that? Oh, so what is that? Was I picking that stuff up before? Hmm, okay. Um, so we're going to go down here. we got to see if our body is still here. Keep running, 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 running. Oh, it looks like he's, looks like he's coming over to this folder. Or those eyes. Creepy little eyes. There you go. So we got those orbs. Come through here. Alright, where's my body? I'm gonna go down here and see if my body's down here. Right. I don't see anything. Can you spin the camera around? You can't. So I don't know. I didn't pick up anything. So I think my stuff's all gone. I think it's literally gone. I think all the resources are just literally gone. Because I fell. Somewhere here. I don't see anything. I guess it would. I don't know. Right, let's go ahead and finish killing out these little baby arachnids that are going to give me nightmares eventually. That one's just sitting there hiding, waiting to pounce on my face or crawl in my ear when I fall asleep. Alright, now let's try to get across this stupid thing again. Yep, see. And look, okay, so jump. You can jump. So what is the deal with that platform? There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to clear that platform. Unless I have to sit here and take a hit just to line myself up. Oh, there we go, I made it. Alright, okay, so let's what do we got here? What do we got here? New area, new oh, what is this light? Light of salvation! Oh, 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 really, really, no. oh, come on. You come in. You want, you want this heat? You come get it. Now, it looks like it was all booby trapped and it didn't work for you. And Duck Rod Stewart. Duck Rod Stewart. What good is that roll if. Let's, let's go over here. What good is that roll? Oh, there we go. If it doesn't keep you stunned, now, I'm gonna walk on this stuff and watch it kill me. Oh no, it didn't kill me. All right, but now I have two of these things. Here, 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 spider, This guy, this guy's like the blade master. What is going on? This guy is out of control. All right, so nothing over here, and nothing. I don't have food. I think it's why you need food too, so you can heal yourself for health while you're in these dungeons. So the dungeons are kind of fun. I don't like the the controls are not very forgiving. Oh no, nope, no, nope. crap, cabins, go back. And it started to get dark too. Oh hell no. Let me go up here and see what this is up here. The controls are not very forgiving. And some people might want a challenge like that. I just want to enjoy the game, not necessarily a heavy challenge. And can I break these? Ooh, I can. Alright, so let's do this. Give me some resources too. Look at those bats flying ahead. Shadow of the bats. Come on, come on. I hope this isn't just like some misnomer where they show me numbers but don't actually mean anything. That I can't actually get through this. Because I really want to. 
There we go. All right. Get through back up. Get you back in my hand. Open this like this because I'm a caveman. I don't have poles with thumbs. We couldn't just figure out, hey, you know, open it like a normal person. Got some money. Oh, uh oh, so oh, that's kind of, so creepy. Come on, what are you doing? Dude? Switch weapons. I clicked one like 15 times. Can you? All right, are we on? We're on one. It's not letting me do my own thing. I'm not the ice. Was it letting me do? Oh, there it is. Wouldn't let me do my special move. kind of wonder what those were but guess what i died so you know what i don't know i kind of like the game i wish you could do some rotate the camera to a better angle for yourself hold down the middle mouse wheel uh you know happiness there i do like the scrolling to switch weapons but it's not precise enough and where oh where is the stupid axe like how do i equip my weapons again like all i want is my axe and i don't see it so let's go to wood building, because it's a wood axe, right? Where? Where? I accidentally put my sword over my axe, and now I can't find... Like, here, let's do this. See, why did it switch places with that? See, that switched places. But then when I got my sword originally... But when I got my sword originally, and then I try to change it here, boom. So, where did it go? I, am, am I out of an axe? Am I never going to get one back? But I do like the daytime, nighttime effect, and I know you're going to have your own piece of property, and you're going to farm like Stardew Valley and all that. And, and I get it. I think it's going to be fun. I wish you could have talked to this NPC here, one way, shape, or another. And remember to save your game in a bed. What bed? Where? Where is the bed? Wait, is there a house nearby for me? And then there's no map. Like, I wish there was a map. I mean, I get you want exploration, but if there was a bed for me to get somewhere on this island, like if I actually had a house somewhere here, wouldn't it be nice to start there? Or at least have a quest to get me to go there first, before I ventured into the first cave? But as it looks right now, there's nothing there. So, uh, it's a great game. Uh, I think I might actually pick this one up, especially if it's less than... If it's $14.99 or less, I'm going to definitely get it. Good single-player game, throwing some chillax lo-fi music and just run around and do things we'll just put my phone out can you swim with a torch oh look at that easy pimp but i would definitely pick this game up just to if anything to explore dungeons unlock the mystery of the island see what kind of lore and history they have there and might be something fun to you know check out so again it's a lens island it's, uh, developed by flow studios and you build fight survive all right guys thanks for showing up appreciate it catch you guys next time